pomegranates do something different. First of all, they're also cancer starting. What's in a grapefruit will actually inhibit or star angiogenesis or starve a cancer by cutting off its blood supply. It's kind of a cancer starving drink. We all know that what we eat and drink plays a huge role in our health. But did you know that certain fruits contain bioactive compounds proven to combat disease at the cellular level? Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned scientist and author of Eat to Beat Disease, ingredients that don't just nourish your body, but actively protect it from diseases. And guess what? Fruit juices can be a part of this powerhouse arsenal. Dr. Lee's groundbreaking work focuses on angiogenesis, the process of forming new blood vessels. While this is essential for healing, cancer cells exploit this system to grow. Certain fruits contain compounds that starve cancer by cutting off its blood supply, while also boosting your immune system to fight disease more effectively. Number one, pomegranates. Pomegranate, and pomegranates do something different to your gut microbiome because the, the ruby red seeds of pomegranate, which you know are used to make juice, are contain something called elagitannins. These are natural chemicals, they're so beautiful and they taste great. Um, you can put them into a salad, there's lots of different ways you can, you can do them. But when you juice them, one of the things that is wonderful is to be able to press the juice through the skin. And because there's elagitannins in the skin as well, so you get a lot more. You get like the, the knockout punch of these elagitannins when you juice with the skin. Now, what does that do? Those elagitannins in your body when you drink it, they, for, well, first of all, they're also cancer starving. They're also antioxidant. They also lower inflammation. But one of the great things that they do is they stimulate your gut to secrete healthy mucus. And, and that's normal. It sounds a little gross, but actually our, our gut likes to stimulate, at least likes to make mucus. And the bacteria love to grow in the mucus. The bacteria growing in mucus in our gut is like flowers growing in a flower bed that's been properly fertilized. They sprout, they bloom, they really, they, they look great. And that's basically what pomegranate juice actually does in our gut. It helps these bacteria grow really well. One of the bacteria grows really well is called Acromancia. Acromyosia mucinophila, mucin like, like mucus. And that bacteria is a guardian of our health. It helps our immune system. It helps us fight cancer. It actually um, it even appears to be able to help kind of make blood sugars good to be able to help control and prevent diabetes. And so that's a function that a uh, simple juice that's delicious to drink and easy to make like pomegranate juice is so valuable. First up, pomegranate juice. This ruby red drink isn't just delicious, it's a health miracle. According to Dr. Lee, pomegranate juice is packed with polyphenols, powerful antioxidants that help reduce inflammation, slow cancer growth, and even encourage cancer cells to self-destruct. A process called pomegranate juice can specifically target prostate, breast, and colon cancer cells while leaving healthy cells untouched. Plus, it supports heart health and boosts your immune system. The whole emphasis is to do things that taste great, that are also good for you. Like this isn't about kind of like, you know, handcuffing us to doing, you know, acting like robots to do things to foods and drink and eat foods that we don't like. The whole point is to take advantage of what mother nature has already offered us and really be able to do some extra things to it to make it taste delicious and easy for us. That's also good for our health. Number two, grapefruit. Grapefruit actually uh, helps angiogenesis from the other side of the equation. So let's walk around to the other side of angiogenesis where we want to help our body keep just the right number of blood vessels, not too many. Too many blood vessels actually is not good for you. Like life is all about balance, right? Excess isn't really good. If you don't have enough, it's not good. If you have too many, it's also bad. So what happens when you have too many blood vessels? Well, it wreaks havoc in your health, for example. If you have a lot of blood vessels that grow in your eye, like in aging or in diabetes, they, those blood vessels can bleed and you can lose your vision. Or even, uh, even more importantly is that our bodies are always forming these little microscopic tumors that are harmless cancers and our immune system are, normally wipes them out. But if our cancer, these little microscopic cancers figure out how to hijack our angiogenesis system, they can grow, selfishly grow blood vessels to feed themselves and they can explode in growth. So I did research at the National Cancer Institute 
studying food. Uh, we didn't tell the NCI that they was aware of just studying food. We gave them stuff and we labeled it as if it were a drug and they were testing it with drugs. But we were actually putting stuff in from grapefruits. There's hesperidin and aerogenin. These are all these extracts that are present in the flesh of grapefruit. And what we found is that what's in a grapefruit will actually inhibit or starve angiogenesis or starve your cancer by cutting off its blood supply. So here's a not, not only a good way to get vitamin C, which is also anti-inflammatory, but it's also a way of actually uh, helping to right size the circulation so you don't have too many blood vessels that are growing. It's kind of a cancer starving drink. Let's talk about why grapefruit juice is so special. It's packed with vitamin C, which boosts immunity, and naringenin, a powerful antioxidant with anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. According to Dr. Lee, naringenin helps slow the growth of cancer cells and can even stimulate their natural death through a process called apoptosis. Grapefruit juice is particularly effective against cancers like breast, lung, and skin cancer. Plus, it's great for detoxifying your liver, improving digestion, and supporting healthy cholesterol levels. Who knew this tart and tangy drink could be so powerful? And it doesn't stop there. Grapefruit juice also helps improve insulin sensitivity, making it a great choice for metabolic health. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who could benefit from this knowledge. And don't forget to subscribe for more science-backed health tips. Let us know in the comments. What's your favorite way to enjoy these juices?